Margie, you've learned to do things with an egg that even a chicken would be proud of. That dish was marvelous. What was it? Eggs Manhattan. It's Harold's favorite recipe. Harold? I thought the only freeloader we had around here was Freddie Wilson. Harold is not a freeloader, Dad. He's the man I'm going to marry. Oh, well, as long as he's not just a... Marry? Now, don't puff your blood vessels, Dad. You're not just losing a cook. You're gaining a man who can help buy the groceries. Harold Claremore is not just famous. He's rich. Claremore? You mean the Broadway actor, the, the matinee idol? Out of all the girls who are crazy mad for him, Harold picked me as his ideal. How long have you known this man? Oh, I haven't met him yet. Haven't met him yet? Oh, I catch. Another one of your big crushes. <laughs> well, you sure picked a dilly this time, baby. Harold Claremore has half the unattached females in New York waiting outside the stage door. Not me. It wasn't necessary. Our souls touched hands. And that was it. Margie, you never cease to amaze me. You never met the man, yet you say your souls touched hands. <laughs> Dig that crazy radar. <laughs> Just a minute, Chuckles. Take a look at this. He lists all the specifications of the girl he wants to marry, and I fit every one. Look at him. Five feet four, that's me. Green eyes, that's me. Warm, loving disposition. Fond of fun and sports. Mm, it also says he's fond of onion sandwiches, and you hate onions. Well, so I'll learn to love him. A wife has to make some sacrifices. A wife? Oh, Margie, don't be ridiculous. This is just a publicity gag for his new play that's now in rehearsal. How naive can you get? Oh, so I'm naive to think that I possess the qualities a man like Harold Claremore is looking for, eh? I didn't say that. You did, too. I did not. I merely said that it was a publicity gag, and if any girls are stupid enough to fall for it, they won't even let them in the stage door. I'll bet I can get in to see him. Ha! Huh. Go ahead, try and get in to see him. It'll do you good to get thrown out on your injured pride. Oh. <laughs> Where are you going? To shop for your trousseau? <laughs> You'll be laughing out of the other side of your charge account, Father dear. I am going to buy a Paris original in the new heliotrope shade. That's Harold's favorite. Well, it'll be worth it to see you get your comeuppance. Morning, Mr. Albright. Hi, Margie. All ready for our date, I see. Oh, I'm sorry, Freddie, but I guess this is goodbye. Goodbye? We well, haven't even said hello yet. It, no. No, I mean goodbye for good. Oh, it's been grand knowing you, Freddie, but... Well, I guess it was just one of those things. Be happy. What's with her? I got a sneaky feeling I've been brushed off like loose dandruff. You have, boy. You have. <laughs> this is a wonderful day. <laughs> <laughs>